IT is a new hairdressing salon with a simple mission. Being kind to customers and kind to their hair. Clayton Hair, on Pitt Street, has newly opened with its staff pledging to be as inclusive as possible, from a private room for clients with autism to vegan-friendly haircuts. But the hairdressers has only come into being thanks to a series of coincidences bringing its three stylists together. Dave Clayton, who owns the salon, always knew he wanted to run his own business but he needed the perfect partners to make his vision come true. He had known Una Bogue for a number of years and was determined to have her on board, but Una had plans to go move to South America. But when Una's plans changed at the last minute, Dave was able to persuade her to join Clayton Hare. Meanwhile, hairdresser Kerry Copeland was looking for a new challenge and met Dave working in a previous salon. Dave said, I'd been living in Australia when the trend for men's grooming took off. When I came back to the UK I trained at Vidal Sassoon in London then worked at what was the men's room on Great Western Road before the men's store but I always wanted to open up my own salon. I've always had a vision of being inclusive because of places where I have worked in where there's been certain people not welcome at certain times. So I wanted that friendly, fun vibe. Kids are welcome, dogs are welcome, everyone. Other places I have worked there's been lots of constraints put on your day because it was solely money oriented. Whereas I want atmosphere first and the money will follow, hopefully. Una came to hairdressing after winding route that lead her to the other side of the world and back. She had planned to train as a classical singer but her performance career came to an end after she developed vocal nodules. Una said, my father said, the one thing you're good at it eating, but I didn't want to be a chef so I went to hospitality school instead. Una then went and worked overseas in America and Australia. She added, for five years I loved being away but then I thought I should get a real job, which came from my mum's Chinese influence. So I got a job as a mortgage advisor and had a real job for about six years, which led to me being as assistant bank manager. But I just wanted to be in a job that made people feel good and make me feel good and let me be creative so I went back to night school and did hairdressing and totally loved it. To leave my job, by that time I had a house, responsibilities, was nerve-wracking. A lecturer suggested she go into bridal hair and Una specialized in vintage styles for five years, building her business part-time while still working in the bank. When she was offered redundancy it was the perfect chance to go into hairdressing full-time. For more on this story, visit the news article link.